All right, we ready? Yeah. Uh, chop. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening? It's Ike from Flipside Music, and welcome to What the Fact, episode uh, season two, episode fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. That's, that's, we're we're uh, well into yeah, the well into the new year or the new season. Keeping it going, keeping it going. Yeah. You can tell I got my winter hat. Yeah, it's a on. snowy Tuesday morning it in is Colorado. A, yeah, it's a it's a wintry uh, storm advisory. Yep, it's There's a whole some, 14 degrees outside. Yeah, it's cold <laughs> and uh, several, several, several inches of snow. So yeah, you know it was really light down here compared to up where I was at though. Oh really? It was yeah, because like down here it looked like maybe about four to four to six inches, but up there it was most spots was about eight. Because my house seemed like there's a little bit more too. Yeah, so it looks like down south. We're both we live we both live uh, north north, uh, of the shop, yeah. north of the shop. So um, yeah. Quite wintry and blustery today, yeah. so we're getting into the getting into winter. Shitty drivers and yeah. yeah, it's all right. It's all good. Well, so yeah, so you guys are here. You know what's going on. Yeah. It's a question and answer show called "What the Fact." Uh, there was a who were you here that day? The dude from Washington came in, or was it Oregon? I don't know. So either way, I, so. I know the dude. I forgot his name and I forgot where he's from, but I remember you, dude, and. Thanks for coming in and saying hello to us. Yeah, I know. You know. I forgot everything else about you. I forgot you. everything about you, but if you walked in the door, I would give you a, hey, dude. Yeah. Because I, you know, I, I, I remember the, yeah, I remember yeah. the guy. Funny, I just can't yeah. remember the name, unfortunately, yeah. and I asked to him like three times. And then I think he was from Washington or Oregon, something oh, okay. northwesterly. Uh, he's in town for, for something. Yeah, there. I think we've had a few of our Canadian, like, we, uh, somebody that had stopped in when Chris and I were here. We ended up sending him to GB's, but he's on that like the Canucks oh, okay. with guitars thing with Ben. Oh, cool! And he posted something. He's like, "Oh, hey," he, to Chris. He's like, "Oh, hey, I remember you told me that fish and chips place was awesome." Anyway, it was nice. just kind of funny, like random spread of that stuff. Is funny. Yeah, it was a kind of a YouTubey thing because he's like, "Hey, it's your birthday coming up, right?" Oh. I'm like, "Weird, yeah, yeah." <laughs> He's like, yeah, I watch your channel on YouTube. I'm you like, stalking me. I'm like, yeah. you're, you're the guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because that one guy, yeah. yeah, you're the guy doing that. Uh, so that was cool. I really appreciate it. If you're watching, uh, thanks, dude. And he told me his screen name and everything. And I, I don't know. There was a lot of. It's also the morning too. Yeah, there was so. a lot of information to go. So <laughs> yeah, there's not enough coffee to go. <laughs> right, we've had a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff happen since then. But oh, oh there's Nick. Hey, what's up, Nick? Didn't realize we had the door open. I didn't either. We, we it's figured, probably good. We figured almost, nobody yeah. would be here. <laughs> you want to say hello? Just pop your head. Yeah. I See, we're peeking. That's uh, a, there he is. a wider <laughs> angle there. See, yeah. we're not bullshitting. He's all tight. Yeah, it's definitely cold outside. Yeah, he's not the snuffle <laughs> yeah. He is really here. Yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah. We're, yeah, we're just we're rolling the show. Yeah, uh, Todd Flowers. I think this is a sarcastic question. But do you guys have any pedals? <laughs> yes, Todd. Yes, we have. Yes, we do, yeah. Todd. Yeah, we have as many petals as you have flowers. So, we, <laughs> <laughs> so we got. Uh, I think we are just about at a thousand petals in the shop. Currently. Yeah, we're always uh, between uh, between new and used. I think we're right at about a thousand now. Yeah, we're last time I looked, we're hovering around like the two forty ish range on used, and seven hundred plus on the new side. So we got to be closing then, in. That's like individual pedals. That's not like our inventory. Yeah, that's not doubles or that's anything. The, yeah, that's yeah. not the doubles. Where that's individual. We have about a individual pedal pedals. listing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yes, lots. We do have a yes, El Guapo. We, we have do a have a plethora of pedals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Metalhead Hippie got his Demogorgon. He said yeah. he's gonna go and do an unboxing later tonight. I guess this was like three or four days ago. Um, awesome. So hopefully, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let us know if you like it. Yep, I got to pop into your channel and see because I haven't uh, I haven't been since I read the email. And yeah, and he's, he's uh, still in Alaska, Alaska, right? Yeah, he's in yeah. Uh, near Wasilla. You know, it's interesting. We had like three. I don't know if what's happening. We had like three different dudes from uh, Alaska that do seasonal work come through this week too. We're, so I don't know if they're all coming home because winter's probably coming up there now. So they're coming back here, but we're getting a lot of seasonal work, dudes. Well, I think we're very popular in. Um, Great White North. <laughs> in the Great White North, cer we certainly are. That's Canadians can yeah they pick that up quick. Uh, but I think we're very popular in unpopular uh, unpopulated areas. <laughs> yeah. So our level of popularity 
in unpopulated areas. Sort of like rock stars right. in Montana. It's, it's, and, yeah, yeah. In Utah. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in, in uh, western Kansas. We're huge. <laughs> huge in western Kansas. Huge in western Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah. any area that's There's not so populated. Not right. yeah. un surprisingly, <laughs> percentages are quite skewed. So, yeah, the less people there are, the more popular we get. Right. It's exactly. like a fair ra ra uh, ratio. <laughs> if there's a lot of people, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So yeah, they got that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Colin James. He uh, Colin James saw our recent Kemper acquisition, so he was wondering if we had any thoughts on it yet. We uh, it's haven't got a actually, lot of buttons. Well, I'll just say yeah, we haven't had a ton of time yet to dive in with them yet. I mean, I'm, you know, I think I, we, we all know the gist. It's right. just a matter of us actually playing with, with it. And if we can find somebody that has some cool like IRs and stuff we could pilfer. That'd be nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mess with it a little bit. We haven't had a chance to really dive too deep into it. Yeah. It does have a lot of knobs. Yeah, it can't a lot, not a be lot of awesome. I mean, and it's a lot pretty. Of I mean, they're yeah, they're known at this point for being kind of the go-to amp profiler. So yeah, it, it they can't not be good. We <laughs> also have the floors too. <clears throat> Right. So we have the toaster one, and then we have uh, the stage models as well. We do have a couple of the uh, powered ones coming in soon, I believe. So it, so far, it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. If you guys ever need it, their distribution's up in Evergreen, right? Yeah. So yeah, if you guys ever need anything from from, from us, them, yeah, from us, we can get it pretty pretty quick. quick. Yeah, their yeah. U.S. distribution is not very far from us, which is awesome. Yeah, less than an hour. Yep. So. Yeah, very cool. Um, let's see. So uh, Ben Coombs said he's not running a stereo rig yet, but he is debating it. Um, but he does want to know what our uh, individual favorite delay pedal types are. So, so like what, like your favorite I'm class just, of delay? I just analog, just you are, analog. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, he, yeah, he yeah. said he kind of knew. I was just saying, I think we both prefer analog. The only one I like that, I, I think it is actually digital or like a weird hybrid is the Mr. Echo. Cause that one, yeah, that's actually very cool. Pedal. Yeah, because even though it's digital, it behaves just like and it sounds just like an analog delay. It's just not. Um, it like even has the weird quirks that you would get with like a tape delay, but they just kind of built that into it. Um, but that one's probably one of my favorites. That's not analog. After that, yeah, I'd say most of the analogs are probably my favorite ones. I also really like like the uh, any of the emulations of the Echo Plexes and stuff. Yeah, most of the time those are digital. Has a, you know. J Rocket has a new one coming out called the Ape. Oh, okay. so nice. take the T off of tape. Ah, yeah, makes sense. And you get Ape. Ape. Ah. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, based off of an Echoplex. I also like. They've had a the, lot of monkey themed stuff lately. Yeah, yeah. they got a, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but uh, I also like seeing that we're in October. I really like the uh, uh, pumpkin spice delay. That one seems to be really very, very awesome. So yeah, it's not much long of a delay time on that. This I year, like the though. yeah the yeah. Chai, the chai pumpkin spice delay. Yeah, it's really a, really, yeah, it's kind of dark, <laughs> but you know it's got a sparkle at the end. You have it's very your, your avoc it's avocado very, toast. <laughs> yeah. My avocado toast when I'm twisting my mustache. <laughs> yeah. Using your when I'm putting on my brown shoes and my your essential oil beeswax right. mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Oh yeah, oil can. He asked about oil can. We do actually like those too. The, yeah, the Adnecco, yeah. is that the? Yeah, the Adnecco, the Black really Fountain. Cool. Those yeah. are all cool. They're both very cool delays. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Echo Plex family. Like, and that's why I like the Mr. Echo. That one's going for like an, an EP3 kind of vibe. Just a little darker, but it's a cool one. Um. Let's see. So, uh, head walk 26, which is Mr. Yergs. Mr. Yergs. Mr. Jake. Uh, hey, Jake, thank you for your watching. Thank you for getting us hooked up with the new t-shirt design, which we will uh, roll out probably maybe next week. Oh, the, it's uh, a cool one. I think you guys will like it. The humbucker one? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we, we won't gotta, spoil it. but We yeah. won't spoil yeah. it because um, we don't want to spoil it. And yeah. we have no way to show it because that would take some type of editing skill to put a picture in picture. Editing, yes. Who edits? <laughs> Fuck this. We just turn it on and let's go. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, but literally, I, life's too short I put for stuff editing. in the front and stuff in the back, and <laughs> yeah. I would like to edit a little bit more, but 
I ain't got time for that shit. I just got the new Call of Duty. Yeah. Can't have time for that. Yeah. Pew pew. <laughs> Sorry. I just imagine you like every shot. Pew pew. <laughs> pew. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm more like mother. Because I know I'm getting my ass handed to me by like a fucking 10 year old somewhere yeah. in California. He's like, look at this guy. <laughs> I just shot him nine times right in the face. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Well, my internet sucks. So oh, I, yeah, I, I got to fix your thing. I keep forgetting. I got to fix your DNS settings and the whole thing. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. been like a year. I think. Well, yeah. I'm thinking I might switch over because I, I just heard that they got uh, fiber optics in the neighborhood. Oh, mm, that's cool. Well, because now, so my neighborhood has been gentrified. And now there's fancy hipsters in my neighborhood, which is good for my property value, but not my blood pressure. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I kind of like the way my neighborhood was before. Yeah, it was a lot more relaxed. Well, it was just more earthy folks. Um, not saying that there's shitty people, but there are some people that are meh, I could do without. Yeah. Um, but I heard that they have fiber optics now. <laughs> and the fiber optics, if I play my cards right, I might be able to do the fiber optics and get it less than what I got my cable for. Well, that's pretty solid, then. Because yeah. I don't watch, I don't have cable TV. I have an antenna on the top of my my house. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just use Because I don't the, watch enough. I like don't. the flat plate antenna thing or whatever it is. I got one yeah, of those. I don't have cable either. I got one of those ones that looks like it was from the 50s. The old school with the, yeah. Yeah, it's got a little. Pieces of everything. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> things like that. It's pretty rad. Yeah. Like the world's most, like, cruel skewer. <laughs> it's pretty awful. <laughs> yeah. But it works. I mean, I get all the I get all the channels that I care about. Then I got you know I got Netflix. You know what's crazy is actually uh, some of those channels come through clearer on that than they ever did whenever I've no, gone they to do. people. Yeah, it's really it's weird. HD. They, they're yeah, broadcasting well, well in HD. that, but like there's some kind of filtering that's not going because I've noticed like sometimes it's way clear. Like even some of what PBS does ends up being way clearer than I ever saw it before. The only thing is when storms roll in. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's yeah, when things yeah. kind of get a little glitchy. Yeah. So, and some channels come in sometimes, and sometimes they don't. Yeah. So I don't. I don't really care because, like I said, I got Netflix. Dude, I was watching uh, She Demons. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nineteen fifty-eight. I didn't get a chance. I fell asleep halfway through it, but it was pretty awesome. <laughs> she Demons. Nineteen fifty-eight. Yeah. She Demons. Go watch that movie. It's awesome. One of the schlock classics. <laughs> well, I guess schlock was a whole. Which is a great name, but it was like a whole Schlock. bunch of uh, <laughs> um, like B movie type stuff, you know, the crab that destroyed oh, Chicago, like the, yeah. you know, like the blob and the, yeah, all yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's still one of my favorites because like it's so slow and so many people still died. Yeah, that's, like that's I still the, can't figure out how could you not run out like a child could have strolled away. That's what's so <laughs> great about these movies. Incredibly awesome. Um. Yeah, it's almost like they sit around and think about like what's the dumbest thing you could possibly do in that situation, and then let's that, let's have the character do it. Can, we should <laughs> we should write our own B B movie. Well, we could do it with an iPhone. Well, it's almost can like we, the can whole we do that. I mean, probably. it's editing and yeah. you put it the way the shit is now. I mean, you just put a probably like a movie there. filter over the, the top yeah. of it, and it's like look how cinematic they are. <laughs> that freaking genius. Yeah, Scorsese's my cousin. I ain't tell you that, right? Well, it's almost like all the movies back then were filled. You know, all the people, like all the people that can't do shit in commercials, mm -hmm. like that have shit falling all over them and they're always filming. Yeah, that's, it's that's, like the whole, yeah, the whole wherever those people are from is where those films exist. I love it. <laughs> yeah, the ones that are like, oh my God, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't open this jar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> shit goes all over you. Or like the lady like dumping like the, the two liter of pop. In the right, and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> Like yeah. automatically. Wherever those people are from, that's where those movies <laughs> exist. <laughs> uh, we should try to write our own B movie that's surrounded by music or something. We should do like the origin of B movies. I told, you the, B movie that, I told yeah. you the B movie that me and uh, my old roommate Dave wrote. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Great Adventures <laughs> of Cecil Barboni and the Orange Wizards featuring <laughs> Ike and Dave. And the whole premise of the movie was um, the whole premise of the movie was that we just had to go find Cecil Barboni. Because Cecil Varaboni was the only person in the known universe that could actually draw a perfect circle freehand. <laughs> <laughs> so if we could find Cecil, like we could see like he be like, <laughs> draws like a perfect face. You know, like they tell you how to draw faces. Yeah. Like he draws a perfect face and then erases well, it back to see, the circle. <laughs> well, the, 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 the thing was, is that Cecil wasn't a dude. 
Cecil oh. used to hang out with these orange wizards, which were just like dudes with, with orange like cloaks and such. And they were construction work. <laughs> and we had, these, we had all these scenes planned out. We had it written out. It was actually really kind of funny. We just never, back in back then, couldn't, uh, yeah, we, we just, yeah. it, like if we had that now with phones and the editing software, we would, we would have, it would have been done. Yeah. yeah. But so the premise was we had to find Cecil Barboni, which was the only person in the known world that could draw a perfect circle freehand. And if we could find Cecil, then we could design a pizza box to fit a circular pizza and we would sell a bajillion of them and be millionaires. That was the whole thing. But we had to find a dude named Lance Mannion, who was like a gay dude that and worked at a transvestite bookstore that... <laughs> it was such a, the, underneath the 59th Street Bridge. So we had all these. Like, we had well, monsters. I'm sorry, it's like I was trying to work on the blog the other night and I was trying to come up with an origin story, but now it would work like perfect for that. Because I, I said Ike started his young life as a child prodigy Italian pizza <laughs> critic. <laughs> until a, I was a pizza and, blogger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> until a rogue ramekin of ranch dressing ended his promising <laughs> career. Oh, <ranch laughs> that's <dressing. what> we, <laughs> yeah. That was a, we had a whole. The whole well, that's funny. That's great. Yeah, the whole movie would have been really awesome if we had done it. We had we there was monsters involved and yeah. everything. It was it was going to be pretty good. Maybe that's the first slip slide around. We got to figure that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'll get Dave out here to do it. He'll come yeah. out. That'd be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so, so ridiculous. <laughs> I'll be one of the orange ones because we had one of our we had our other roommate was going to wear. He was going to be Lance Mannion. Oh. <laughs> and he was he was going to we. He's going to have a big feather boa and assless chaps. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> you know, Frankie, Frankie says, uh, what is it? Was it Frankie from Frankie uh, Goes to Hollywood? What was that old 80s shirt? Frankie says something. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, or New Kids on the Block or one of those we were going to have. Oh. It's gonna be, yeah. It was going to be pretty good. Um, we yeah. should write our own B movie, though. Somewhere should, yeah. around it. You know. Yeah. No, I think that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty. Fun. Can't be any worse than f pick a destiny. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see, Mr. Starks. Terry Starks. He uh, wants to see a video of your gig on the eighth. Ooh. So he, he said he wants basically to see a video of your chops or some video showing us mere mortals your chops is what he said. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm not that great though, dude. So. I'll put some video. You'll see videos out this year with with us playing. With yeah, playing. we need to. Yeah, well, we're gonna be doing some more stuff. I still, I think I'm gonna still do the other channel too. Okay. So here's a cool thing, if anybody gives a shit, 42 people that are watching this. <laughs> so my birthday's coming up in November, as you guys know, for those of you regulars. Um. So most dudes my age, you know, they start dating like a 22 year old girlfriend and they'd go buy themselves a Corvette and shit like that. And, and, uh, uh, that's not happening for me. So, <laughs> so I bought a little RV. I a got a third, RV. Yeah, I bought it. It's not here yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of picking up a 30 year old RV. It's a little Astro tiger. Google it. It's really cool. Uh, so I was thinking that I could put, do some of the guitar stuff and then maybe do some of the, Colorado travel stuff on that uh, website. Oh, yeah, on yeah. That channel. It'll be you my channel. I'll let you guys know if you give a shit, if you want to subscribe. Um, still haven't quite figured <laughs> out the, if I'm going to do the name that I'm going to do, but it'll be some music stuff. And it'll be some um, Your travels. Travels. Because I'm going to, I think I'm going to start just doing, you know, Colorado sites first, like yeah. ghost towns and mining camps and yeah. cool shit like that. That'd you be know. cool. We could, we could also even cruise do, up and... I was going to say, yeah, any of the mountain passes and stuff would always be cool. Like, I mean, you wouldn't be able to broadcast from up there, but you could still do the video. Oh, you do the video. And, yeah. And then edit and yeah. hang out. But I'll have the dogs with me. And I, I was thinking there's, you know, there's some builders here, uh, like maybe go see Monterado Guitars, maybe mm -hmm. probably go see Rocky Mountain, Doc over at Rocky Mountain Slide. Yeah. He seems like a really cool dude. Go see Kurt Mangan up in Cortez or down in Cortez, I should say. You know, some stuff it's like kinda that. kind of up and then down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Man, is it that time yet already? Yeah. You guys open? It's snowing. Um. Anyway, head WAP 26, Jake. We'll see wherever this editing happens. Yeah, how happened. did we even end up where the hell I was before? I don't know. Yeah, we're good at happens. that. It's been a while. Oh, we started talking about the humbucker thing and then something else. And... All right. Um, I don't know if either one of us actually can answer this one. He, said he was interested in the Helitone speakers from Avatar. Uh, he said uh, they claim it's a G12 H30, which is like the... 
heavy magnet version of the green max. Okay. Um, but he said it's been converted and he said somehow they're like $40 less than the Celestian version. Um, so he was just asking if we had any thoughts on the sound quality or not. Unfortunately, I've never heard it. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say, I mean, I don't know who's making that for Avatar. Good chances are it's Warehouse. Most I likely. mean, Avatar could be making that one at this point. I'm not sure. But even then, like a good, most companies now offering in-house speakers tend to just be doing Warehouse. warehouse yeah. I don't know for sure if that would be it or not. But um, I mean, anything I've heard from Warehouse and anything I've heard from Eminence, which are, you know, two of the more affordable companies have been always been great. So. I mean, I think Warehouse, there's a few company, like cabinet companies even now that are just doing their own custom yeah. speakers through Warehouse. Through Warehouse, so, yeah. Yeah, so it's like it's getting to that point where Warehouse can pretty much make anything anybody needs. So Mojo Tone makes a lot of stuff too. Yeah. For people. But yeah, if Avatar's offering their own, I mean, they could be, they've gotten big enough, they could be making their own, but I'd say good chances are Warehouse is producing those for them. And if that's the case, then I'm sure they're good or pretty good. Cause warehouse, like anything I've heard from them has been solid. It's really just yeah. a matter of what, whatever the company that asked for the speaker asked them to do, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, is that the USA one? Yeah, that one was a nice one. Did you already make a plug? I was fucking this around. beautiful Fiesta Red Maple Neck Strat with HSS. I don't know. Anyway. What'd you call me? Huh? What'd HSS? You call, what'd you call me? <laughs> HSS? <laughs> it's actually decently it's audible. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Those were, that was the one with the medium jumbo frets that were too medium jumbo-y. They're not for everybody. Yeah, I think he was a guy that maybe, I think he wanted something a little more classic and it's comfortable. went with that one first. It's comfortable, Nick. Yeah. All right, I think that's pretty much it. We don't really have any, I mean, there's a few other comments, but no real questions and we're like 17 minutes into being open. Are we really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, like I said, it's a, it's a it's, snow day. It's a snow day. So, yeah. yeah. So, all right, well, how long has this thing lasted anyway? Probably what, way longer. Yeah, because I, mean, I got into pizza stories and the fucking and the movie, the movie, and the whole nine yards. And yeah. I told you about my RV and uh, the origin story of Ike, the fictional Ike. <laughs> right. We got an origin story. We're working on or the flip side origin story. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool too. And I'm gonna do one for the Chris true, too, like. the true start of where this came from. The story you guys don't know. Well, I was trying to do, yeah, Origins too, just for like the blogging thing, but I was trying to make it to where nobody would take it too serious. So I did like a, I was like a young landlocked Viking raiding pantries and refrigerators all over the mountains. And then Chris was a young uh, uh, hip hop lyricist trivia contestant. <laughs> <laughs> what was my thing? You are a child pizza. prodigy Italian pizza, pizza critic. maker. Yeah, pizza critic. Oh, pizza. <laughs> Like I said, but a uh, rogue ramekin of ranch dressing ended your promising career. <laughs> Freaking <butter moment. laughs> All right, that's it. All right, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Please hit the little bell so you know when we're uh, new video comes out. When we do some live stuff, we're talking about maybe doing a live show. We're not quite sure. I mean, we usually do one first Friday of the month. We may. We're thinking of shifting it to where yeah, maybe we do this and then we on uh, Friday. Yeah, well, well, there's too much competition, so we might as well just do them. And then if people want to rewatch them or yeah. we'll see. I mean, I guess if people participate, because I mean, it seems like Ben gets a good turnout, but, you know, he does it. He always picks the odd days right. when there's not a lot of other people doing it. So. And he's also in Canadian time. So that's yeah, you know, they get magical Canadian time. And right. And that, that, that's why it happens that way. Yeah. But yeah, it was so funny because I popped in last night and I'm like, yeah, it's a nice snowy night, you know, here in Denver. And they're like, snow? This is funny Canadians asking right. us about, like, snow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we were thinking about doing uh, two, maybe Tuesday, like, in the morning. Yeah, we just time. cut from this and roll on to yeah. doing live. We yeah. just go do a live thing, maybe show you stuff like this, like new gear that we got in. Um, and stuff like that. We're not quite sure. That way we could do it in the morning and see whoever's wants to watch it when we're available or they're available and then it'll just play later on that night. So right. we might switch some stuff around. 
Yeah, we're thinking of changing formats or something. Yeah, because this clearly, I, I mean, I don't know if we should break up a good thing here. Well, I think this, <laughs> yeah. this is working like fucking gangbusters yeah. over here. <laughs> it's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're, beat, we're beating down subs. Hey, <laughs> no, 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 you know, no, no, yeah. no, don't subscribe. <laughs> no, no, we got too many. It's full. It's full. Yeah. Yeah, we're having issues with our YouTube page not loading because so many people are right. trying to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's trying to cram in the door. It's like Black, it's like, it's like Black Friday in here. Yeah. Every, every day. Every day. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> people trampled. Let's start it again. Yeah, they can only go so long. Okay. All right, so cut off. So let's just pick up, our, let's pick, let's pick up where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly where oh, we're at. This was kind of day today's gonna be. All right, guys, we're all done. <laughs> Camera turned off. That's it. So. <laughs> yeah. And screen. all right, we'll see you guys on the, on flip, the flip side. side. <laughs> You're on the Dr. Phil show. A problem is that you're into yourself, that you flirt with girls, that you're not plugged into your marriage. You're in the green room hitting on my staff.